Hello guys, just Gorn here, and today I am bringing you a tutorial. Earlier today I was messing about with some things. For a while I've been trying to make a walkthrough goat exhibit uh, using the doll sheep as goats, um, but guests are not allowed to enter doll sheep habitats. Now I found a way I could make uh, a path that the guests could walk through uh, using upside down elephant grass, which is a trick I found. Um, if you put upside down elephant grass into the ground, um, and, and most animals will not be able to walk across it. So uh, that was how I kept the dull sheep off of the path, making so making it that uh, guests would not flee from them. But today I realized a much better trick, um, which essentially boils down to um, now giving the the ability to make a walk in habitat for any species now the way i found out about it was um, that i have this path which is purely decorative um, i actually don't have anyone walking on it and underneath it is a car track and a monorail track simulating uh, cars riding here and a bus and one day i closed the ride and all the people got ejected onto this path and I noticed none of the guests actually freaking out despite being inside a cheetah habitat and the cheetahs were also not chasing any of the people and I kind of ignored it I was just like oh no I don't want people on this path so I placed them all back into the actual zoo today I realized why this was happening and also how I could utilize that. So if we look into the traversable area of this cheetah, you can see that the entire road is missing. And that is because this track is actually in there. But what you can also see is that the cheetahs are still crossing the road. So what did we learn here from this scenario is that when you have track anywhere, the animals can still walk across it, but for some reason it doesn't count towards their traversable area. Now, why is that important? Well, now I'm not 100% certain on the details, but I am guessing that guest fleeing behavior works somewhat like this. I'm on a path and I am uh, I'm good, but as soon as I I'm on a path and I'm also in the traversable area of an animal, I'm going to flee. But since there is a track in the ground, I'm not in the traversable area, so I'm not going to flee, even though the animals can actually reach me. So using that, we're able to do something like this, where we have a big path inside the habitat which we can put people onto and they are completely fine. They are enjoying the view of the sheep. And the way we did that is using these tracks. So if we look at the doll sheep's traversable area, you can see that it is not counting the path except for where I've put this little water feature. So now let me quickly show you how you can use this yourself. So to be able to do this, we you have to disable track collision and terrain collision because this will make it uh, possible to put the track underneath the ground. What is also important is that under camera, you disable camera collision with terrain so that you can actually do this and go under there to check stuff out. Now, just for the purpose of this tutorial, I have turned off anything relating to animal welfare just so I can show you uh, that the guests will be walking through this um, mixed bear habitat. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to make sure the bears don't fight. I asked my roommate what animal to use and he said bear. So I gave him all the bear. <laughs> so now in order to actually do the thing that we're here to do, we're going to put a path through the habitat. Now when making a path like this, you just have to make sure that there's no way for the animals to get out because people can just walk through walls and stuff. Um, so you, you can make custom doors or you can use hanging ropes. There are several ways to, to decorate this in a, such a way that it looks good, but just for the purpose of the tutorial, we're just going to put a wall there that the people will walk through, but the animals can't. So what you will see now is that people are starting to walk into the habitat, but immediately fleeing because they are coming in touch with the traversable area of these bears. So how do we solve that? Well, I've already told you uh, two methods, actually. 
So the first method is the elephant grass that I told you about. So if you take elephant grass, you turn it upside down and you can push it into the ground. This will make it so that the animals cannot walk there. Uh, we will start to see that right now. On the traversable area, it recalculates. They cannot go over here. So now you'll see people walking actually up to that point until they hit the traversable area and start to flee. The downside of using this method is that this area is not traversable by the animals. Meaning that if you would put this along the entire route, this entire section will be cut off from the habitat. And that is where my new method comes in. So we're going to take a transport ride like this one. Put down a piece of track and remove the station because the station is annoying and doesn't want to be underground. But this track, it does not really care much. So selecting the track and pressing X to move it around, we can take it up to our path and place it underneath. We can then edit the track to have it go just along the entire path that we built and it has a pretty sizable hitbox so I'm actually pretty sure we're good yeah you just want to make sure that none of the path is in the traversable area which right now it is not so right now we will start to see people we will start to see people coming in <coughs> walking through the entire habitat without a yeah without fearing the animals uh, because as i said the game thinks they are not in the traversable area of the bears even though they can really easily um, get to them so yeah of course this is a crazy example uh, bears like this um oh yeah, no, no we are, they were not fleeing, they were just very excited. Of course, this is a bit of an extreme example, uh, using bears like this. Um, if you want to make a realistic zoo, this is definitely not something you would be doing. Uh, but there are some examples of animals, like like the doll sheep, where I feel like it should be possible to do this. So now you've got the power in your own hands, uh, whether or not you want to make a walkthrough habitat of something so yeah that concludes this simple little tutorial i hope uh, that was enough if you have any more questions you can ask them in the comment section but for now i'll leave you with this so thank you for watching um happy zoo building and i'll see you in another video goodbye